I've been doing a lot of digital work alongside painting on canvas um, and uh, the two coexist side by side but the digital one can output in different ways. I've been doing animations as well which is new and music too but these are the newest visual things. Well, we went to an exhibition at the VNA um, which is a retrospective of postmodernism and uh, examined the history of postmodernism from the 1970s into the early 80s uh, as an art movement and a design movement. And the person who personifies uh, postmodernism, in our view, in art, is Dougie Fields. And Dougie Fields was nowhere to be seen in the exhibition. And we left the exhibition quite angry and upset, which, and we channeled that into the idea of putting on a retrospective of Dougie Fields' work. The palette table has done new for hair. Should we go and have a look at that? Because uh, I'm rather pleased with that. So follow me round past the tip wallpaper. Uh, but I have a giant tip canvas at home that's a five foot square one. And uh, I use a palette as my signature. If you look down at that, and uh, that's a sort of whole series of iconic figures from Madonnas to Buddhas. The table is just stunning. Actually, that was the piece that when Dougie came, he said, oh, I'd like to take that home. So that's the piece he wants to take home. But all those little details are, and they're very much part of Dougie's work, his life. And that's what he's surrounded by. So it's, a, it's great to see it in the gallery. I've been collecting his work since 1967. I think I've got about five pieces. I think he's a, by far, no one even recognizes him enough. And I think this exhibition is fantastic in the fact that Homotopia have interpreted the work in perspex and he's got my ultimate favorite that I could never afford to buy, the lady in the yellow and gray. A part of the idea behind the show was not just to show his painting, which are marvelous, but to create new work uh, from uh, characters in his paintings, which we've done uh, in association with the gallery. So we've created some perspex wall-mounted sculptures, which are actually characters from paintings that the gallery have produced, and um, we've hung in conjunction with the paintings to give a fresh new twist on Dougie's work. I know that he has a you know, vast amount of work, which of uh, this is a, a mere, what's the word, um, soupçon of, of what is available, but I think it's a great cross-section from the past or the present, and also sort of slight reinvention of some of his work, like the cut-out um, perspex uh, ladies from previous work that's been sort of slightly reinvented or framed in a, in a new way. I think that's very interesting. I think it's beautifully curated. It's a very interesting space and I think it's, from what I've heard, it's the, the exciting thing to come and see. Paint to battle. It's hard work, but it's my hand, my eye and my choice. And it's the same with the computer. It's my hand, my eye, but instead of a paintbrush I've got a mouse. Instead of making a canvas, I've got a computer screen. The computer screen gives you infinite space to work in, whereas the canvases take up the real space. And I've been in the same place for 40 years, so my real space has shrunk as the number of canvases has increased. So getting a computer opened up space. But then I could never have achieved this in paint, but on computer I could do endless versions of something like this. This is Dougie's world and it's great because he hasn't had a show for a long time and to see this is, is wonderful I and mean, thanks to Martin and James and Sandra at the gallery I mean what a, what a coup actually. It's lovely to see his whole world created both how he's worked his family and friends in how his imagination has gone around and developed the wallpaper, which is just fabulous. And just the different aspects. So it's not just paintings, but in fact, it's a Dougie world here in Liverpool.